In this video, we're going to learn about index of refraction. Light travels at different speeds depending on the medium that it's traveling through. Light travels fastest through a vacuum at 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And that's actually the speed limit of the universe. Nothing can travel faster than light in a vacuum. When light travels through different materials, it slows down depending on the way the material interacts with the light waves. The slowing down of light is referred to as the optical density of the material. The more optically dense the material, the more the light will slow down. We're not going to really focus on the reasons why light slows down, however we will focus on calculating the decrease in speed of light based on the material. So what are we going to learn in this video? First we will define index of refraction and look at some examples of the indices of refraction of different materials. Second, we'll learn the equation that we can use to calculate how the speed of light will change. Finally, we'll learn how to solve problems involving indices of refraction. So first, what is index of refraction? Index of refraction is a ratio that compares the speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in a material. Essentially, the value tells us how many times slower light is going to travel through that material compared to the speed of light in a vacuum. Generally, gases have the lowest indices of refraction. They slow light the least, and solids have the highest indices of refraction, and liquids are kind of in between the solids and gases. Now, we can calculate the speed of light through a material by rearranging the equation for the index of refraction. So it becomes V equals the speed of light over the index of refraction. There are many different tables that list all of these different indices of refraction for different materials. You can find them in your textbook or online. Here are a few common indices of refraction. Let's try solving some problems that you might see in your physics class. Calculate the index of refraction of quartz if the speed of light through quartz is 2.055 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. First, I'll write the equation I need to solve the problem. Notice that in this problem, we are only given one piece of data. That's the speed of light in the material. And that's this variable right here. We want to calculate the index of refraction, that's n. Now, we don't need to be told what the speed of light in a vacuum is because it's a constant. The speed of light in the vacuum is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So we can plug everything into the equation and we end up with 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 2.055 times 10 to the 8 and we end up with 1.46. There are no units for an index of refraction because it's just a ratio. It means light travels 1.46 times slower in quartz than in a vacuum. Here's another problem. Calculate the speed of light as it travels through diamond. Notice that this problem doesn't give us any data at all. Most likely, you'll have a table of common indices of refraction, and that's where you're going to find the index of refraction for diamond. The speed of light in the material is this variable right here, and the speed of light in the vacuum is this variable. So we will need the index of refraction, n. To solve for the speed of light in the material, our equation becomes speed of light over n. We plug in the value for the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8, and then we can look in our chart, find the index of refraction for diamond, that's right here, 2.42. We plug that into the equation. When we do the calculation, we end up with 1.24 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So in this video, we learned how to define index of refraction, and we learned how to calculate it or calculate the speed of light in a material. Thanks for watching. You can support the Science Classroom by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. You can also leave a comment or click on the link to support us on Patreon.